everybody. Welcome, welcome to today's live where we are doing all the mirroring curls for all the girls. <laughs> and guys, I guess, too. And guys, of course, all the guys, too. Everybody, all the people with long hair that were girls. Girls just rhyme. So. Yeah, exactly. It was, that was for ease of use and nothing else. <laughs> nothing else. Okay, so we are talking. We got a customer service message the other day. She was wondering how to not get the Farrah Fawcett look. And so we sent her some videos and stuff. And I just thought it's probably a good time to kind of revamp, uh, refresh everybody's take on how to not get a Farrah Fawcett curl if that's not what you want. So we're going to go ahead and walk you guys through how to vary your curls and get the curl you're looking for. So um, hope you guys are all doing good out there. Love seeing your states, where you're from, and what is happening in your life. I mean, there is a lot happening in the world. Yeah, I feel like every state has like a different thing. Going like a on literally right different <laughs> state of being. Yeah, <laughs> it's like it nobody's in the same state of yeah. like what's happening in their mm -hmm. world. So it's fun to hear. So we're going to um, walk through how to get the exact curl you're looking for. So. Um, I do think that everybody's hair type is a little different, but I want you to know that all of your curls live within this movement and this movement, okay? So everything lives within these motions, and then you can even vary them further by doing this versus this. So if you're on the right side and you're going this way, I consider it a push curl. And if you have your iron pushed back like this or leaning back towards the back ceiling, um, then it's more of a lean back curl. So there's so many ways to vary your curl. How much you, to bring back old terms, mm -hmm. room your motorcycle, how you tilt your iron, and then how you push or pull your iron, okay? So all of your curls live within all of that and your imagination within those. So that's why we're always in here trying to educate you and empower you to make the decisions for what curls work best for you. When we teach, the main thing we teach is just a slight rotation and a push forward curl. That's the main one we teach everybody. And then from there, you can learn how to vary it so that you get the curl you want. If you're getting too much fair faucet, don't push the curl, pull the curl. So that's that simple variation of if you are pushing forward or you're leaning back. Okay? And you're thinking that fair faucet curl is just like a big volume curl. So yeah, the more I think that you lean back, the less kind of like... Most of it is just like that kind of like Victoria's Secret. Like the big... Curl, like the when I first kinda. started with the iron, when I first created the iron, that curl that I did like mm -hmm. all the time, I think that was kind of a fair yeah. faucet. It was like very... It's in, wind blown, kind of, yeah. Kind of, and it's very. Um, the other thing is, is, like, if you brush it and stuff like that, and how you treat it after makes a big difference. Mm -hmm. But um, we'll start with shaping the curl, and then we'll go from there. I kind of look ferrofosity right now because I did leave my bangs too long, which, by the way, I meant to bring mm -hmm. my scissors today, but I was on a meeting, so ah. I didn't get to bring them. It was an exciting meeting, though, it was a fun meeting. Okay, so um, let's do it. Should we? Let's go. Okay, let's, let's roll. Let's roll. Roll out there. Let's do a push curl versus a pull curl. Okay. It's lean back. I don't know how to say that, but I think of it, do you think of it as pushing? Yeah. So right now she's pushing, pushing with the, the curl. From the front? Yep. And you can see how that will always, it usually makes your curl more Very full and the rotation luminous. is like this. Yeah. yeah. So that'll get you a more full. Think about Victoria's Secret when they first, not Victoria's Secret recently where they have a lean curl. It's when they had like big full curls. That's a push curl. So that's a lean back curl now. So she's she started and then she leans her iron back as she moves forward and that pushes the lean back part of your curl. And I'll show you how that works. Can you, um, you yeah. Can see the difference here. So Let can you turn to the side real quick? A little bit better. Yeah. There you go. So if you look at this, you can see if she, this is like the angle of her iron, it's more like, whoops, like, sorry, I'm trying to see it. And so it's more like this. Okay. So that's the push. And then the lean back, which doesn't I think this doesn't do it justice. Oh, that's why you I got it, like a lot in there. If we take out and do a smaller section, uh, I think they'll see it better. So then you can see this is lean back. Do you see the difference? So this is her angle here, and this is her angle here. 
push forward, lean back. Okay. And if you're looking for more of the beachy wave, the lean back is like way, it just makes it so much easier. Yeah, to get the look, yeah. for sure. You'll notice all that Savannah has adjusted in all these different curls she's just created is the push versus pull, and then that last one was more vertical. So it was more her tilt of the iron that she was, do you hand me uh, the iron over there? So I'll yeah. talk about what you're doing as you're doing it. Basically what she has done is she's changed from this to this and then to this. So that's the changes she's made. Her rotation is still the same, but she's changing up how her curl is going to shape, which mm -hmm. is more full or more, more laid lean. back. Yeah. Which I really like doing this sometimes where it'll be more full at the top and then mm -hmm. I'll change into the lean curl at the bottom, mm -hmm. which is why we always talk about drawing in the curls because you can literally draw whatever you want it to look like. Mm -hmm. And um, I like having volume kind of near my scalp area just because my hair is so like flat all, all the time naturally. Mm -hmm. So, but then I like having the really beachy ends. So it's nice to be able to do both. It's nice to not have to plug in another iron and figure out how to true. get like different looks. You can just change your angle <laughs> or really rotation, it. all that stuff. Yeah. It's all so the fun easy. things. So you see how she's starting like this and then she kind of changes into this mm -hmm. and that keeps your hair nice and elongated as you go down so that you're, you don't lose all of the length. length of your hair cause you grow it out and then you shrink it up with doing certain curls. So that's what I love about, you know, being able to elongate the bottom just by dropping your wrist a little bit, but then make sure you keep the rotation as you drop the wrist. You see how mm -hmm. she's opening up her curl a little bit more. So the top is more full, the bottom's more opened up. You can see right here, she opens it up more. Yeah. You can see how she always shapes that in more because she, as she makes that adjustment from here to here, it Certainly. also kind of opens or like kind of closes this off, which less rotation means less curl shaping, okay? So if you want more curl, just keep it rotated more. So if you're going for a tighter curl, guess what we're gonna do, everybody? Mm -hmm. Just like in a motorcycle, you vroom more, you rotate more, and you wrap the hair further around the iron. The less the hair is wrapped around the iron, the oh. less curl you'll get. And then I wanna know what heat setting you're using, Savannah. I'm on 375 right now. Um, I've been playing around with doing different heat uh, settings but i just always love you always that revert. my curls just last so long on 375 yeah. that's the only thing is that they don't drop for me at all if i go lower temperature i don't know if my hair is more porous or something if that's why but i think your hair well what i think happens is fine hair holds heat longer mm -hmm. so it starts dropping which is why fine hair doesn't hold curl very well because most curling irons it'll drop out by the end of the day um, and so you probably couldn't, you, you were one that couldn't hold curl before, right? Um, I could do like two, two to maybe three days if I was oh, really could you? trying. Oh, okay. If so I was you really weren't trying. that fine. Okay. So yours is medium hair then. Hmm. I wonder why that works better for you then. Yeah, maybe just, it's just cause you have that perfected you, so much. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. You'd have I to go slower. I also think, I was just going to say, I think I go a little too fast for yeah. the lower heat. Yeah. You're used to that pace. They want to know how long these curls will last on you, Savannah. These curls will last until the next time that I wash my hair, which will probably be next Tuesday. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think I should probably do a tight curl for them. I don't mind doing one. I'll do it. Okay. That's I'll fine too. All right. Here's my tight one. So okay. I'm usually rotating here. Now I'm rotating to here. See how much hair is traveling here? You can see. I'll show you um, on her next curl how little that travels. Like it will travel there. So you can see how curly that curl is. And it's just the simple change of rooming her motorcycle more, rotating more so that she can really enhance that curl shape. Mm -hmm. So what I'm showing or what she was showing on that is normally her rotation is here and that time her rotation was here. So you can see the more the hair is wrapped around this backside, the more curl you get. It's really simple once you start looking at it from this side instead of here or here. You're just looking right here. This is where I normally curl and this is where she curled. See, this is where she's normally curling because she only wants a slight curl. I only want curl. something like that, yeah. Mm -hmm. So she's getting that versus this. And that's how you go more curly. That's simple, simple change. 
Huge difference. No attachments necessary to also, chain Also, not needing to move your hands at all. I've noticed that a lot lately whenever people are wanting to get more curl. They don't even look at how the curl turns out when they turn their wrist like this. They automatically just go to grab oh, and yeah. turn again because they think that they have to crank it more. Yeah. But you would be surprised at the amount of curl that you can get between here and here. Yeah. It's exponentially different. <laughs> And then they want to know what product to use to make your curls last. I think that using Upstage makes a big difference in my yeah. curls. If I don't use Upstage, then I notice that my curls don't last quite as long. Um, my blow dry takes a lot longer if I don't use it. Um, yeah, that's so interesting. We don't even talk about that in Upstaged on like the, you know, when we're talking about what its benefits are, but I think the speedier blow dry is also it's huge, yeah. a huge factor. And I. Never really noticed how much of a detangler it was too. Yeah, it's, it's a huge, huge detangler. Really good at detangling. Okay, so that's, um, you know, within all those variances that, you know, Savannah was showing you, you can see that there are some that are more lean mm -hmm. and more drawn out, and then you have more curly. That one's really curly. That's kind Glimmer of Farrah Fawcett. Yeah. So, I think that's what happens. So let's show exactly yeah. how to adjust when you get a Farrah Fawcett curl. So let's walk through how you probably would have done it with this iron because it's cold. How the Farrah Fawcett turned out. Yeah, or like how you got it to Farrah So I just had yeah. too much of an angle here. And I a probably, lot of rotation probably. I probably needed to be more vertical mm -hmm. and less rotation. Yep. And honestly, the front left is always, I always accidentally get this side a little bit more voluminous than yeah. I want just because of that angle. Yeah. So it's just something you have to be a little conscious of. It's not. I think it's because you turn your head. I bet you if you kept your head straight, you wouldn't get that anymore. Really? Yeah. Let Just my bet. Let me try it. Oh, now you're really conscious of it, though. She did everything, like, perfect so that it can... Well, I also knew that I needed exactly to reset it, fix. so I was like, well... You're like, I'm not going to mess this up. I'm going to do it right. <laughs> okay. That's way better. Yeah, that is good. Um, so you can see how that changes that fair faucet look to the more beachy look. Mm -hmm. So Okay, so I want to show you a couple of things like adjusting these front pieces and things like that so I can rock my hair till whenever mm -hmm. um, and not look Never like rain. So we're going to go in. I want to show you the straightening side. So I'm going in and I'm using the straightening side to kind of dip out the front and make it more refined. So this side was looking good and this side was looking a little bit chaotic. So I wanted to do that. And then I wanted to put in a kind of beachy end so that it just looks more like the side actually. Mm -hmm. So I was trying to kind of match those so that it has a more finished look. Um, Vanessa wants to know how many different kinds of curls can you make? <laughs> All the curls. <laughs> All the curls. <laughs> it's literally like, let me try and show you like, I'm gonna show you, a, should we do an evolution of curl? Yeah, we could do an evolution. All right, I'm gonna go really tight curl. She's also on 325 right now. Oh yeah, I should go higher for this one, but I'll just, cause I took a small piece. Yeah, I'll show you how happens. tight you can get of a curl. Okay, so you can see you can get like tight curls. I'm just putting it in place to cool. So you can see how much that shrinks my hair, right? Like, see how long that That's is? Crazy. See how, I know. <laughs> and so if you really want Imagine wanted, if all of your hair was curled up to that. I hair. can't imagine it because I did it for prom and I was like, <laughs> why did I do that to my hair? And it was so bouncy on that. I was like, I'm going to keep it nice. I had no idea. It was so curly. <laughs> oh my goodness. So very curly. And then I'll go less curly. You saw how heavy my rotation was on that. So I'm going to do, um, just a full, I'd say this is a full rotation. That one's like an over rotation. So this is a full rotation. Whoops, I kind of even that out. We'll see how this one turns out. Yeah, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's more of a full rotation. Let and me, then I'm gonna come around and help. Okay. Clean it up a little bit so you can see. Um, and then I'll do a half rotation. Okay, and then I'm going to go to a very loose wave. Okay, and then I'm going to go to just, it's just like, I don't know, movement in your hair, I guess, right? Yeah, and I think it's also important to note like how you are winding the curl back because if you 
were to not do that and you were doing this super loose curl, it mm -hmm. maybe you would think that it wasn't curling, but when you just put it back into place one time, then you're like, oh, there's actually quite a bit of curl there. Yeah, yeah so really curly, more curl, or just medium curl. Wave, beachy, mm -hmm. and then open curl. Mm -hmm. Very nice. And then you could go all the way to straight. All right. So thank you guys so much for joining us. Um, we hope your state of being, wherever you are, mm -hmm. is great and safe and all the good things. Yes. And positive. Okay. Thanks so much for joining us today. We'll see you next week. See you guys. Bye. Bye.